Good morning, my Sammy friends. It is Sammy with Sam and Scrap with Tammy with our weekly Facebook Live. It is November 17th, unbelievable, halfway through November. And I've got a really fun project to share with you with the Eden's Garden Collection. It is another project that is offered in my Eden Gardens class. But while we're waiting for um, people to get here, I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna actually check if I'm in the right place before we get too far today while people are finding the live video. So if you're watching the replay, just forward a minute or two, and then you will be right where you need to be. I gotta make sure volume's down. Hold on, I'll be right with you. I think it's in a different spot now. I updated my computer, so who knows, maybe I don't wanna find it on my computer because it might be in a different spot. Nope, it's fine, we are good to go, I hope, unless that's last week's. I think it's this week's. You know, who knows? All right, so I think we're here. All right, so just a couple things to talk about before we head down to the project. First and foremost, I've got this super cute little um, flyer that my friend Gail made me, my downline. And so I do wanna thank you all for this. So I'm sure most of you saw on my postings earlier in the week that I was on stage last week. We had a great time. We did a little retreat for those that could make it local. And we watched our convention that we would normally be at live um, through video. So it was a super fun time. I do need to go back and watch it though because we kind of goofed around the whole time. And so I missed a lot of the um, stuff going on. But on Thursday night was our recognition. So funny, my team and friends are off watching recognition. And I was like sitting in the car waiting for my children, going to hockey games, dance practice and stuff before I could head out for the weekend. So it was really fun to get those text messages and and whatnot through. So thank you all that sent messages of congratulations and things. So I had a great year last year, but that doesn't mean I had a great year. That means we all had a great year. So I wanna thank you all for that. Um, I celebrated five years with Stampin' Up, earned an incentive trip, had a good sales milestone, and reached all the top levels of achievement, and I was number 38 in the United States. Who knew, five years. So anyways, thank you all for this. I truly, truly appreciate it. I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart, not just with a um, you know, quick Facebook post, but with my words too, because it was really an honor to be um, celebrating that last week. All right, so let's get to work. All right, so let me see here. I think I was right on time today. It is 11.02. We've already got the introductions and the hellos out of the way. I don't have too big of a mess over there for you guys to glance at today, so that's good. I'm gonna get my camera in the right spot. I'm still like a little off from my light, so like you're seeing over here the counter. Um, that's like where my light used to be and I have got a different one right now Which looks like it's giving me a little bit of a shadow, but we might just have to go with it because you know what? I haven't gotten a new one yet So I'm using like my backup. So it's a little different. I'm gonna see if I move it if it would make a difference We'll see That's okay You know the main thing is we're here I mean this is way better than from when we originally started these two three four years ago Okay, so you got some cool stuff here. Oh, look at this. This is my phone case. So to say, yes, I do love what I do. I have got, I just switched this out to the puppy um, last week. I switch out these phone cases from time to time. And of course my Stampin' Up one. But so this is the one I have today. I, you know, see, I can just put like a new little thing in there. Isn't that fun? Get a clear phone case, cut out your own, you know, designer series paper. I switch it probably weekly. So that's this week's phone case. All right, and so what are we talking about today? We are doing the Eden's Garden Collection. Again, third week in a row. I don't think I've ever used a collection as much as I have this one. So let me find it. So I'm not seeing any comments. I hope you're here. I hope everyone's saying hello. Um, it, you know, it took me to a different, different view. That's okay, we'll find the right view eventually. There's the right view. Okay, good morning, everybody that is watch that is watching, that are watching. If you're watching on the replay, hello to you too. And so let's see, Eden's Garden Collection is what I am using today. I was, you know what I started doing? I was cutting the designer series into manageable pieces to share with you on the video, and I got sidetracked. So I don't have those ready, but you'll be able to see them in the cards today. And so Eden's Garden Class, I was lucky enough to share this last weekend with um, my demonstrator friends that decided that um, did the add-on class. And it was so cute that I decided to offer it to all of you. So right up in the headline, if you would like to get more information on that class, there are three different levels. Um, click that link and just about instantaneously, it will send you an email 
with um, the information for the class. Per Stampin' Up! rules, that is how um, the information needs to be sent. And so here it is, and registration is available there too. So just click through um, to get the information, and if you wanna register, just click through to that information too. But these are the projects. I don't always share with you all of the projects, but this is what is included in the class. It includes a half a package of designer series paper, a full package of the garden gems, and this is with the level one class, the basic class. And then two of each of these cards. So two to make this card, two setups to make this card. Everything's cut out. All the die cuts are done for you. All you gotta do is add some stamping. Two of this lovely card we made last week. And then this one we're gonna make today. So then one of this, okay, so you're gonna have the option to make this into a card or a home decor, which I'm gonna share with you today. And then of course I wanted to share with you a non-traditional card. This is not in the class, but this was my swap card from last weekend. Same stamp sets. Look at how nice those little vines stamp. And then I added some of the stamping. I stamped my own designer series paper back there. Like you can barely tell, but it's so pretty. And that was my swap card that I shared. Actually, no, well, yeah, it was a sense of a swap. We did like a shoebox swap where we brought all the supplies to make cards. And so I got to make five other cards and then five people got to make this card because that's who signed up for it. And let's push this stuff aside. So a little bit other, a little bit of other business to attend to is the seasonal sales. So through tomorrow, if you're watching this live, through November 18th, 2021, we have got our annual catalog cardstock ink and annual catalog dies on sale. So 10%, 15%, 20%. So I went ahead and just figured out, I just grabbed off of my die cut um, kind of magnet board that I keep here, a few of them. So these are my some of my favorites. I don't even know what the original price is. Must be about $30 or so. So these are on sale. The 20% off brings these to $24.80, the tasteful label dies. These are the ones that you see me use almost weekly. The um, scallop contour dies come to $25.60. These were originally uh, 32, I believe. And same with the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So these are probably the three that I use the absolute most, and that is what the sale price comes to. So I did just want to point that out. So if you're looking for some die cuts, it's a great time to get them when they're 20% off. That does I don't think that's ever happened in my time with Stampin' Up. So great little special. All right, so let's share with you what we're going to do today, and then we'll do it. I'm going to show you how to turn a rectangle into a circle or the easiest way I found how to turn a rectangle into a circle. All right, so now in the class, you can decide if you wanna turn this into a home decor piece, like I did here, or a card. I will provide this stuff for a card, you know, and, and then you can decide if you wanna put it in here. If I can find enough of these, I'll include that too, but that is to be determined. It's not um, a definite that I'm gonna find enough of these, but we made them last week. It was just a wood grain and we turned it, we painted it white and then inserted this exact same piece in there. So this is what we're going to make today. I'm gonna to make it into a card. This was the other swap card that I provided at um, the retreat for on stage this last weekend. That being said too, if you wanna take advantage of that Happy Shopper Starter Kit special, you can add those sale things into there. So um, let me see, what did I figure out this morning? I just figured out roughly, it came to $114. Let me think if I, let me see if I can remember what I did. I want to say I figured if you wanted to get this one, this one, this die cut, because it's just annual ones on sale. And these ones here, this comes to $114. You still have 10 more dollars to pick and guess what you would pay? $75. So that's the Happy Shopper Kit. Now it wouldn't have to be this. You can pick anything that you want for $125 and you're gonna only pay 75. And that includes the shipping, so that's quite a steal there. So it's about $165 value said and done with everything that is included. Actually, it's more than that, but that is roughly what it is um, if you wanna take advantage of that um, shopper um, starter kit. And I can talk with you about that if you have questions about it. And I'm going to do a live, I believe it is tomorrow, I should be live, where I'm gonna share with you all of the pillow gifts and the fun things that I received 
um, at on stage from my friends. So it is going to be um, a, like a Sharon show. Let's let's call it a Sharon show. I probably won't be actually creating a project, but I'm just going to chat with you about the kit, about the special, and share with you some really really cute things. I got pillow gifts and card swaps and all kinds of things. So to start off our card here, just to get a couple of the pieces out of the way. I've got Evening Evergreen. It is the most perfect green you'll ever see in your life. And I have got that cut eight and a half by 11. Or no, I don't have it eight and a half by 11. I got it five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and one fourth. And then I did go ahead and pre um, emboss the Tasteful Touches embossing folder in basic white. And I'm gonna, let me see if I can put that on right away. I can. If I can put things on right away, I like to do that just to get them out of the way. So the pieces that aren't gonna have anything else attached to them, I will go ahead and put onto my card right away. And let's just put this down. All right, so this measurement, basic layering is what I have got going on here today. Um, let me see here. We have got uh, four this way. We got five and one fourth this way. And now next up, we do have a little trickery going on here. Oh, I think I just made up a word. And this is handy um, when I'm gonna pull something like this out when I wanna tell you what my measurements are. And so this is also an opt-in to my email list. So when you join the Stamp and Scrap email list, it will send you this within about 24 hours. And I like to use this when I'm questioning myself on my measurements. So this one here, this piece here is three and one fourth. Now, I usually operate in fourth of an inch. That makes it super easy, you know, a fourth, a half, a three-fourths, and, and so on. But when I go anything past that, I tend to question myself. And if you're like me, you might too. So now I want to just have a little sneak of color behind there. So I don't want a whole fourth of an inch. So I went ahead and went to three-eighths of an inch. So this is three and three-eighths. And this little scale here helps show me what that would be. So it's one fourth here, and then I go that in between the fourth and a half, so it's three A's. So, you know, you're probably an expert at this, but if you're not, if you're like me, then this is an opt-in. You can take this, print it out, and then have it handy at your desk um, whenever you need to reference those smaller measurements that get a little tricky. My little trickery is what I guess I just called it. And look at this. This is a little, who knows what this is. Has anybody seen this designer series paper before? Probably not. This is one of the new ones that will be available for demonstrators to order, um, or the happy shoppers, like I like to call you all, um, that take advantage of it just for the discount. Um, this will be available to you uh, right at the beginning of December, whenever our pre-order dates are for that new little mini catalog we got to see last, last week. Oh, beautiful. And if you went to OnStage, you were able to pre-order this too. But I decided to sneak a little bit of it in there. There's some beautiful floral patterns and different things on one side, but these great wood greens on the other, which worked out so perfectly for the card that I'm making today or my home decor project over on the other side there. Okay, now let's get into how I'm gonna show you how to turn a rectangle into a circle. Now, it's not rocket science or anything, but I thought it was pretty cool because it didn't just work for me anyways. Now maybe for you, it would just work. But you know, I have to make things a little difficult. So all I'm gonna do to start, I cut out, let's see, I cut out the largest die cut here. So the largest one here, I cut out in Evening Evergreen. And then I also cut it out of a designer series. So I just took one of the um, Ever Eden um, Specialty Designer Series paper sheets and I cut the die out of that too. A little secret too, did you know, if you're doing a bunch of these and you wanna cut a bunch out, you can layer up two sheets of paper with this thinner um, designer series and it'll cut two out at a time. So it makes it go a little bit faster. And then I just took some gold foil paper and cut this one here out. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then look at this, I had a scrap of, let's get this out. This is what I'm gonna put my label on. And let me find my take a pick tool. Got a couple little pieces here that need to be punched out yet. And so I just grabbed a real small scrap of this, which was actually too small. And I'm gonna not actually need this side. So I didn't even cut that part out so that I could just um, sneak it out of a scrap that I had instead of grabbing a full sheet of paper to cut that label off. But this is how the label is otherwise. 
So here we got all of our pieces. And now you'll notice I have got a circle. This is a circle from our layering circle dies. And what I did to get that circle, I just took one regular one and layered up another one. And you'll see it's not perfect. I did it in Sahara sand. Um, really for this project, any lighter color would do. But I used Sahara sand because I happen to have scraps of that color. All right. And so now what I'm going to do, definitely going to need glue dots for this. Glue dots are non-negotiable in today's project. Hold on. This is going to get real. So I need to have a sip of my coffee yet. Okay, here we go, my friends. Are we ready? Turn in a rectangle into a circle. I think there's a saying about that, something about like a square inside of a whatever, but so here we are. Now, if you've made a lot of wreaths, this is nothing new, but for me, this was brand new. I was trying to like make it form just on my own and that just wasn't working. So I decided I needed to have a little bit more of a base. So that's where I goes in the circle. And see, I'm gonna put like a bunch of little cluster of fun over on the right hand side. So that's where I'm gonna start. That's where I'm gonna have my um, circle be, or circle start, circle start, circle end. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna just place a few glue dots down. I can always add more. This is gonna be so great. You're gonna love this. Although I already showed you the card, so you know you're already gonna love it, but it's so fun to see it all come together. And so I made, I believe I made eight of these because I have one left over. There were seven of us that did our general card swapping the other day at our retreat. I hope the few pictures I shared you loved them. Some of them I couldn't share because they were just so goofy. And I promised the people that I took them of that I wouldn't share them publicly. We had a fashion show. We had Stella the Stamper attended. Um, so she dressed as like a stamp set from years ago like the lady in a, in, so if you remember Stella the Stamper, or Stella the Stamper, I don't know what it was called, stamp set. Um, we had Stella at the event. We had someone that got a little risque with their face masks. I mean, everyone was fully covered. And we had someone dress as greeting cards and we all did a little write up. I was the bag lady and brought all my Stampin' Up! bags. It was super fun. And then tomorrow I'll also share with you in the morning sometime a video Last week I said, why was I in the closet last week? Sitting in my closet, right? I think I posted about that. I'll share with you the video tomorrow of why that we shared it on stage. It was so fun. It was so funny. All right, and so there you go. There I have the basic of circle, the start of my wreath. And so next I'm going to add my designer series paper. So same thing here. I started right here. So you can barely even tell where I started. And so I actually, I have to find it. So it wouldn't really matter. Right here is where I started. It just goes together so nice. And with the greenery, and once you start layering it, it just looks so good. Oh, let me see. So I was doing a lot of these last week. My glue dots were flying everywhere. And you know, I end up with dimensional backs and rhinestones everywhere, but not usually glue dots. And I went to get ready for, to go to my job that I work at on Wednesday nights, last Wednesday. And I had glue dots in my hair. Luckily, they came out easily. So just added a little flair to my hairstyle last week. All right. So I've got some glue dots on there. Again, remember, I can always add more. I'm going to find the beginning here. So I'll try. See, it's like so hidden and masked, you can't even tell where it is. Here it is. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And I do have to twist and turn a little bit. And, you know, you might end up bending it like that. No problem. Cause we're still gonna, we're gonna add some rhinestones, we're adding ribbon and off we go. And then, you know, you still do even have this little bit that you could certainly make another wreath with or just have it for another project. That is looking good. And last but not least, let's add some gold to this. And this one, I'm gonna use almost all of it, I believe, if I remember right. Last Thursday was a long time ago, or actually I think I Thursday, and I, no, I finished them up last Thursday night after I got back to the retreat center um, from um, all the duties that are entailed of driving your children around. It was so fun, though. It's so good. If you have kids, teenagers, or, you know, grown kids, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes driving them all around is like, oh, my goodness, it'll be so nice when Allison can drive. She's 14, almost 15. 
But at the same time, I'm like, no, it's not going to be so great when she can drive herself around because when I get those kids in the car, they have no choice but to talk to me, right? So they have, from the time I pick them up from dance or hockey or, or you know, their clubs after school till we get home, they got to they gotta visit with their mom. And so sometimes I even take that, this little secret, don't tell the kids. Sometimes I take the long way home so that they have to talk to me longer. And they're like, mom, where are you going? It's like, oh, I got a good, just quick stop at the post office. They're like, well, there's one right there. Well, no, I like to go to the one uptown here. <laughs> so sometimes I trick my kids into spending more time with me. Because, you know, as they become teenagers, they, they're busy. They got stuff to do. And, and let's face it, I'm busy too. But that time in the car is great because they're stuck with me. So I wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, but good story. You know, I've always got a good story. So last night, so yesterday, I did end up canceling card class. That's not, that's not a good story. That's a terrible story. Because I wasn't feeling very well. And still got, I'm kind of nursing a little bit of a cold. And feeling a little better today. But anyways, so yesterday, not feeling so great. So I just kind of got some sweatpants on. I, you know, hair back. You know, not planning on getting out of the car, really, um, at all. So drive the kids around. I Brody had hockey practice down at our local civic center. Look at this. We're coming together. And I'm going to tie a bow while I'm chatting here with this beautiful, beautiful ribbon. Oh, my goodness. So rich looking. It is. Stick around for the story. It's pretty good. Cherry cobbler in gold. Okay. So I'm at the, our civic center early because I had dropped Allison off. I didn't have enough time to go home, but whatever. So I decided to park in the parking ramp near the Civic Center because I had a half an hour. And look at this, beautiful. Loop-de-loop, -loop, like a little sport ribbon, up over top, over, here we go. Okay, so I'm just sitting there, you know, like listening to NPR and I think I even took a little nap because I wasn't feeling well. And then it's time to go get him. So I like to go by the door because it's downtown and it's kind of scary down there. And so I'm in the parking ramp and I back out and then my car wouldn't go forward. So I got in reverse and then I go to put it in drive and it stopped. My car just stopped. Air code on the computer, air code not working. Well, my dad is a retired mechanic, so I call him and I'm stuck. There's people behind me in the car ramp, angry, honking at me going, go lady, you know, like yelling at me. And I'm like, I can't move, I'm sorry. And I'm trying to tell them that. Well, somehow miraculously, I get my dad on the phone and they probably think, this lady, get off your phone and drive your car. But I didn't know what to do. So he kind of walked me through to try to get it to go into neutral. And it, it really didn't, but somehow I was able to get it to move, okay? So I was able to turn my car, kind of coasted down the parking ramp. Good thing I was going downhill. Look at that. See, now I'm just wiggling this around till I get where it's gonna go. And then I get in a spot where I'm out of the way and these like four cars that were behind me angrily honked at me as they went by and like yelled at me because I was in the way, okay? Oh, it was terrible. And then my car stopped altogether, like wouldn't even turn on. My dad headed down to help me. I had to go find Brody, because by this point it was like later than normal picking him up, but I was really not far away from him. I just was stuck in the parking ramp, got my hazards on. I mean, it was just a, it was just something. But guess how we fixed it? It's not fixed. Like my dad has my car right now. He's going to put the part in it. He said it's like a dollar fifty part. We Googled it. So he is retired and he's like, these new cars, you know, they computers and whatnot. So he had to actually Google it to figure out what was wrong with it. Figured it out while we were sitting there. Got it working and we got it to his house safely. So what a story, huh? I mean, but the people yelling at me was what was shocking. I'm like, just leave me alone. I'm just trying to do what I'm doing and not be stuck here. Okay. Back to business. So look at this. We got this beautiful bow tied. We've got our wreath. Let's attach it. So I hope you enjoyed my little, that was my entertainment for the week. Hopefully that's all that happened. And I'm actually very grateful that it happened there because I have to go up to Little Falls, which is like two and a half, almost three hours away from here this weekend with Brody um, for a hockey tournament. And wouldn't have that been terrible if it happened up there? Oh goodness. And at least it wasn't cold, but Needless to say, so back to how I was looking, I had to go into the Civic Center and find Brody because he, you know, I wasn't by the door. And everybody got to see how beautiful I looked yesterday. And it was not so great. All right, anyways, put some dimensionals on the back. This is a five-star friend card. This is the card that you wanna send to your five-star friend. Five-star friends, who are your five-star friends? Your five-star friends are the people that are gonna, I got a glue dot down here. See, glue dots everywhere. 
five star friends are those friends that are going to stick this card up on top of their refer. Oh, this is not done. I did this the other day. Okay. Not done. That's okay. We're going to be fine. And it's all going to be fine, right? As long as we make it till the morning. These are the, your five star friends are those that are going to stick this on their refrigerator. They're going to show this to all their friends. They're going to share it on their Facebook live. Those are your five star friends. So this is a five star friend card or grandma or mom or, you know, whoever loves your cards dearly and will enjoy them as much as the rest of us. Okay. So let's go with my favorite trim. Let's go around four or five times. Pretty loose. I want it pretty big. This is the signature technique, a stamp and scrap with Tammy. We got a circle. Look, we got our circle. We're holding the middles there. Or holding, you know, the where it adheres. I don't know. Where it would go together. The ends. There we go. The beginning and the end. See, here we go. We've made it into an eight or a lasso, whatever you like to say. And now I'm going to sneak it under there. I put a glue dot down where the center of it's going to go. Okay. And now let's put that to my, you know what? That actually probably worked out better having it somewhat attached and just sneak it in, in there. And now after I have it attached, I can decide if I want to, you know, make it go one way or the other. But I like it just how I have it here. And you can also decide if you're thinking, you know, maybe we need just a little bit more adhesive. I think I do. I'm going to sneak another little glue dot under there so that this little piece stays. And that's how we do that. Now we can go ahead and adhere it. Oh, I'm glad I remembered that. That would have been, that would have been tragic if I would have gotten it all done and then remembered. You know what I want to put on this if I have some handy? What would be best? And I don't know if I have any handy. When I'm working with stuff that, oh, here it is. That's going to be kind of heavy because this is a little bit heavier. Remember, our five-star friends are going to get, um, you know, that, that great test. Um, Cindy asked, I, Cindy, yes. You know what? I did get a COVID test. I had, I did two home tests and I did one at the clinic because I was very concerned about it, but I have had three COVID tests now and they all came back negative. And I'm just a storyteller today. Let me tell you. So has anybody else here done the home COVID test? I went and got one on Monday night cause I started to not feel well Monday night. And I think honestly, it was probably because I didn't like sleep all weekend because we were having so much fun. Like went to bed at 3 a.m. And we're like back up by 8, 30, 9 o'clock because it's just, you don't want to miss out on anything at retreat. So I think I was just run down and tired and have a little touch of a cold because now that I'm back on my video and I'm feeling great. But yesterday I slept all day. But anyways, <laughs> so I went and got the COVID test Monday night, like went to Walgreens at like 10, 30. So I was like, do I just wait? Do I not? You know? And so I thought, well, I'll just um, just go get one. Just be done with this. So I went to a little drive through and they got me one. I tell you, it's like taking a pregnancy test, you know? The, when I had my children and took a pregnancy test and was like so excited waiting, although this would have been the opposite. I wasn't so excited. So I was like, just go take a shower. The lines aren't going to change while you're standing here staring at it for a half an hour. Just go take a shower and then check when you get back. And it was negative. And then I took one yesterday. It said 24 hours later. So I took another one. But in the meantime, I had went to the clinic too. And so all negative, all good. Turns out I was just tired and have a little touch of a cold. So thank goodness for that. All right. So there we go. I got some tear tape here. And we're almost done. So we're going to put this here. And then we need a greeting. So you can do multiple greetings. If I decided I wanted to make this since it's a beautiful Christmas card. I did pull in a different um, Merry Christmas. I took from the Peaceful Deer, there's a nice petite Merry Christmas. Of course, the um, hello there from the actual stamp. Maybe I should do that for this one. I think I will. I'll do the hello there. It would actually work great too. So on my samples, you'll see I have that Merry Christmas. But let's do one with the hello there. So I'm gonna get Versa Mark and gold embossing powder. And then I have to remember, we have to add some gems onto this Christmas wreath. I got all kinds of stuff going on here today. Oh man, I've got so much to do when I'm done here. So I did actually, um, so again, we were supposed to have card class yesterday and I canceled it. First time I think ever that I had to cancel card class because I wasn't feeling well, but it was the right decision to make. And so then with not feeling well, I actually have to finish prepping the class today. 
um, because I was going to finish it yesterday morning and that just wasn't in the cards. It was just so bizarre how tired I was. All right, up, down, and here we go. But now today, feeling like a million bucks. Okay, maybe not a million. I'm feeling like about, about half a million, no, a quarter million. I'm about a quarter million. So by tomorrow, I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and we'll be good to go by tomorrow. Ready for class next week. All right, so as you're, I'm doing these, if you are loving this Eden Garden and you do wanna take advantage of the class, right up in the headline of this post, there is a link that you can click that link. It will send you all the information for the class, all the pricing, all of that is in there. Three different levels. If you are wanting to get this entire collection, so the stamps, the um, not the ink, the stamps, the die cuts, the paper, the embellishments, the whole bit, that actually is the best deal. You darn near get the class for free um, because I pay the shipping and tax on the collection. And then I think it comes to like $96, but that includes like shipping it to you, the whole bit. So um, if you were gonna order it right from Stampin' Up, it would be quite a bit more. So take a look at that if this is something you're interested in. But then there's just the basic level two, I think it's 38 shipped to you, 32 if it's not shipped to you, if you were able to pick it up. So again, three different levels. Um, to pick from for the class, or you can just certainly enjoy the cards as I am sharing them with you today. Take a screenshot, make them on your own. You can easily use these layouts, just switch it up with something else. Maybe you have a different wreath you like. All right, do you see that? I just Versamark to the powder, and now I'm heating it to set it. All right, and you're probably like, gosh, she's missing the end. Remember, we talked a little bit about that. I don't need that end because I'm going to tuck this in right along here. And in fact, I'm even gonna snip this down a little bit further. Lost my paper snips. That's okay. Things just disappear, disappear around here when you're crafting. I'm sure you know how that goes. And we should have recorded how many times someone said, where is this over the weekend at retreat? If you saw those pictures, you're local to me, or maybe even if you're not local to me and you wanna to travel to Southern Minnesota, we do have a winter retreat coming up. If you belong to the email list, um, you'll get that information or you can certainly email me and I'll send it to you. See how I'm gonna tuck this underneath here? Look at that, I'm gonna sneak that right in so that it kinda uh, frames that sentiment. Um, our winter retreat at the same location, it's a great location, is the last weekend in January. So we have a lot of fun at retreat and that and the one in January open to everybody. This last one was just open to demonstrators because it was for our convention. So you had to register for the convention in order to take part since we were watching the convention. That made sense. All right. And I'm going to just sneak a glue dot underneath here since it's already raised up there. Maybe what would be a good idea. See, variety of adhesives are important in your stamping. I'm going to sneak one of those mini ones behind there to help this sit up. And look at how beautiful that is coming together. And last but not least, we need to add this bow. Now, we don't have to worry about how large it is because remember, five-star friend card. That means you're either tucking this into a package where you're already going to be, you know, including extra postage or you're hand delivering a card like this. So don't worry about how bulky it gets. Not every card is meant to be you know, mailed with a regular, um, you know, stamp. I don't even know how much a stamp is these days. I don't keep track. My friends are worth it, so I just send, send, send. But this one is gonna cost even more, so you're gonna five-star friend this one and add it to a gift or hand deliver it. And let's put one more here. Here we go. And look at that. Okay, now let's not quite finish there. Let's do just a little bit more stamping because, you know, we haven't been here long enough today. This is also a card. Let me get a little, just in case my stamping goes off the rails, I'm going to have that. I want to add just a little extra, a little extra, extra for this extra special card if I can find here we go found all the things I'm gonna add a little stamping on the inside so this is going to be my I just love how these um, they call this distinctive 
stamping how that looks. And so now we have our envelope. Let's do up our envelope too. It's so fun getting, this is something I don't do enough of, um, is stamping my envelopes. I should definitely do that more. And let's see if we have, um, I'm gonna look here what these stamps say. Yeah, I'm gonna add this one to the inside because it says hello there. And dear friend, how are you? So not often enough do I finish the insides of my card. But this one is just so beautiful that I wanted to make sure to do that today. Okay. Let's just see. Look, now I got another, another kind of adhesive. I've got my stamp and seal. All kinds of stuff lying around here. And almost finished. I am going to add some of the garden gems from the Eden's Garden Collection from here. I do need to get my putty going here. Looks like it needs to be cleaned off. And this is really fun to do. I don't even know if I'm gonna count. I think I'm just gonna keep on putting them on. Give them a nice press. And I'm gonna take a glance and see if there's any <laughs> comments. All right, here we are. So I see Joyce just said, I like your five-star friend thing. I said that a number of years ago, and I thought, oh, shoot, I should not have said that. And I, it originally started because it was a card that I had 10 gems on. And so I somehow I coined that term five-star friend because there was so many gems or embellishments or whatever it was. But that I can picture when I made that video too, and I thought, oh shoot, I, now my friends are gonna wonder, you know, if I don't send them a card like this, if they're a five-star friend. <laughs> but I send cards like this all the time. Do you see that? Just keep on adding those, why not? We, if you got them, use them. All right, and so that finishes my card today. I think I should pull them all in. I didn't even, look, this one, I must've got so excited. I didn't even put the designer series. So you don't have to layer it up as much as I did, but just look at how much more that adds to that once you add that next layer. And then I'll show you one more time here, close up, how you can make this into a decor project. I just found this little frame at a local um, craft store. So you can, rather than making a card, you could have the option of doing that. And now I've got a cute little Christmas decoration that I can either hang or set out. I can give to a friend. I mean, think of that. You could send these two together as a beautiful little Christmas present for a friend or a secret Santa type gift. Um, but I hope you really enjoyed those. Let me bring in the rest of them. This is probably, no promises, but the last week that I will show, share with you Eden Garden cards because this is our third week. Although, I mean, I think I could just keep on going with these um, cards and designer series paper and stamps and stuff. They're beautiful. Um, but that is going to do it for today. Remember, I'm going to be live again tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure the time just yet. I believe I've got some appointments in the morning um, first thing. So I will post sometime tomorrow what time I will be live where we will chat about the um, annual sale or the, I don't know what they're calling, seasonal sale. We'll talk about the starter kit special. And I'm going to share with you all those super cool projects that I received as well as gifted at my onstage event last weekend. So everybody, hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, one more last thing before we, we gotta take care of prize patrol. Last week's prize patrol. Seasons of Fun stamp set giveaway for last week goes to, I think I wrote it on there, Mary Jo Peterson is our winner from last week. This week's prize patrol, this goes for, all the names go in a hat from uh, both YouTube comments and Facebook and Prince and princess host set is what this week's giveaway is going to be. So be sure to take part uh, in the prize patrol. You know how to do it. You just take part, share the video, give it a like, give me a comment would be great and very much appreciated. And then you'll be entered. All right, everybody. Hope I can, you can join me tomorrow. If you're watching live, let's see, it'll be November. Oh gosh, what is the date? Tomorrow's gonna be November 18th. So today is the 17th, tomorrow the 18th. At some point during the day, I will share with you um, all those cute little projects. Otherwise, for our regular Facebook Live, be back next week, November 24th. See y'all later. Have a great day.